When the Cavs and Celtics made their blockbuster trade, I was certain what the Celtics were getting, a great player in Kyrie Irving. Wasn't sure what the Cavs were getting. Well, since the trade, it's become apparent that Jay Crowder is just another player. Zizic is a project. The draft picks, including the key broken pick, not sure what's going to come of that. And then there's Isaiah Thomas. Yes, Isaiah Thomas is coming back from a protracted absence because of a hip ailment. But he clearly does not fit in on the court or off the court. The problem is a report has surfaced written by the great Ken Berger of Bleacher Report that Thomas and Dan Gilbert have become buddies of sorts uh, or have bonded. And to me, that is bad news, really bad news for the Cavaliers and their fans. Because if Dan Gilbert has bonded with Isaiah Thomas then that means Thomas will not be traded. And I think Thomas has to be traded as one trade in order to help the Cavs uh, win a title this year. But if he sticks around, that means Gilbert presumably is going to build around him uh, in the next phase of the Cavaliers. And I don't think you can win what you want to win with a five foot nine inch guard uh, as your fulcrum. Just ask the Boston Celtics. But worst of all, I don't see how Isaiah Thomas and LeBron James are teammates beyond this season. So if you hitch your wagon to Isaiah Thomas in Cleveland, you're basically saying goodbye to LeBron James and the end of LeBron James 2.0 in Cleveland, which would be four seasons on top of the seven that he had in his first run. I don't know about you, but I'd rather do everything possible to retain the best basketball player on the planet than worry about building a franchise around a five foot nine inch point guard. So that leads me to this. Dan Gilbert, Cavs owner, Dan Gilbert, please do not build your franchise around Isaiah Thomas. Trade him and continue to do everything possible to keep LeBron James in a Cavaliers uniform.